I thought that an appropriate topic for my next production, since it's been several weeks of inactivity on the video front for me, would be that of a momentous biological event, the Cambrian Explosion. Firstly, the Cambrian. The Cambrian is the earliest period of the Phanerozoic Eon. It runs from 542 to 488 million years ago and is divided into three epochs, or sub-periods. There are currently 38 paleontological sites where Cambrian fossil strata is being excavated. Together, the sites demonstrate a basically complete historical picture of the fauna of the age and is the period where the true richness of the fossil record begins. In the epochs leading up to and within the Cambrian period, diverse life appeared to, at least within the fossil record, exponentially increase, leading to the rise of structures by which we determine modern phyla. The rise of all these phyla and such an increase in fossil evidence leads to the term Cambrian explosion. Now the term explosion is reminiscent to that of a population explosion, except with structural diversity of metazoans instead of a number of people. Now, for some reason that escapes basic logic, the Cambrian explosion is a favourite event of creationists. There are several reasons as to why this is nonsense, but first, these are pretty much the creationist views of the Cambrian explosion. After billions of years of inert unicellular life history, complex contemporary animals suddenly appear on the scene with no transitional record. Out of nowhere, complex contemporary metazoic animals spring onto the scene. It doesn't matter which, so long as neither of them have an evolutionary process playing a part. Okay, here are the facts of the Cambrian explosion. Firstly, the origination of phyla. In the most widely accepted classification system, there are 38 known animal phyla. The Cambrian sees the origin of around 11. Granted this is higher than any other single period, but it is still less than half. The others are pre-Cambrian or post-Cambrian. As for plant phyla, none originate during the Cambrian period. Secondly is pre-Cambrian fossils. Firstly, the absence of a pre-Cambrian transitional fossil record is ludicrous. There are loads of potential pre-Cambrian phylogenetic predecessors. We have Sprigina, the semi-trilobite, and the Cludina, pre-Cambrian calcium carbonate shells. We have over 50 million years worth of pre-Cambrian metazoans in China. In fact, there is a smooth chronological fossil transition leading right up to the Cambrian period before gaps start appearing. But that's not all. We have fossil eukaryotes dating back 2.7 billion years. Basically, the claim of Precambrian fossils being absent is false. Complex life has a fossil record going back 3 billion years before the Cambrian. Next, we have the inertia of Precambrian evolution before a massive, unreasonable climb. Well, from what we have of the Precambrian fossil record, life was indeed changing well before the explosion. As for the explosion itself, we already know Precambrian life was highly complex and diverse before the explosion, and even the explosion itself had a highly long fuse and predictably steady climb. The length of the Cambrian explosion depends upon where you think it begins and ends. For instance, if you end the explosion at the beginning of the Ordovician period, which is the end of the Cambrian, and begin it from the youngest fossil record gap, you have yourself a rapid explosion that took 180 million years. No matter where you start and finish the Cambrian explosion, you have a reasonably rich fossil record of evolutionary change and lots of time for it all to occur. If you are extremely conservative in the agenda that must be met for the time scale of the Cambrian explosion, you can't go any lower than around 5 million years. Most paleontologists classify the explosion occurring over a period of roughly 40 million years, which is less than half of what we have the complete fossil record documents of. Fourthly, that the Cambrian explosion brought about all contemporary life forms. Yep, contemporary, unchanged life forms. Just like as we see them today. Discounting that, we have already learned that less than half of animal phyla and no plant phyla originated in the Cambrian period. We also have no land animals, no insects, no spiders, 
and the only representatives of modern phyla are extremely primitive and basal, to which there is a rich transitional fossil record leading up to more familiar structures such as craniates and vertebrates, at which point we have the first fish. Final point is working back on transitional fossils relating to the Cambrian explosion. The Cambrian explosion is not the only diversity explosion in the history of the Phanerozoic era. In fact, just about every period has its own diversity explosion, particularly ones following mass extinctions of dominant life forms and or the opening up of new frontiers to breed around. The Triassic period, for instance, followed the greatest mass extinction the planet had ever seen and gave rise to the diapsid supergroup known as the Archosaurs. This was the reptile explosion that carried on through to the Jurassic period and the dawn of the Mesozoic era. After the famous Cretaceous mass extinction, the one that killed the dinosaurs, there was a mammalian explosion and the dawn of the Cenozoic era. Creationists don't mention these explosions because they are heavily supplied with transitional fossils, showing relatively complete lineages of just about every major taxonomic group. In fact, the completeness of post-Cambrian fossil records leads to pre-Cambrian period with comparatively large gaps. Despite transitional fossils being reasonably plentiful, they can't compare to the usefulness and the multitude of those strata following. In every period except for those in the Precambrian, the lineages are much greater than the gaps, and the gaps themselves are being filled more and more tightly every year despite lack of necessity. Okay, I think I've taken up enough of your time, so I hope I've covered this reasonably tightly enough without my not even including the specific reasons for the Cambrian explosion actually occurring. Thanks for watching everyone, you know what to do. And the sun will set.